There's this one guy, though, I can't stand. I, I think his name is Nemo. <laughs> that was a conversation I overheard uh, while I was back in college and university. Uh, one day when I was just walking to another class of mine. Uh, as I was walking down the street and two people from one of my econ classes uh, had were, were in conversation with each other, talking about the class overall. And they, I remember this, I was, it was like, there's a bus stop right, right across from the Statler Hotel. And uh, I was getting ready to take a bus there. And I don't know if they saw me, if they didn't or whatever it was, but like they, they walked by me and I was like listening to their conversation. All right, cool. Like, let's just call that out. Yes, I was eavesdropping a bit. Or maybe they were talking loud enough, but I heard it. <laughs> let's say that. Uh, and they were talking about like the difficulty of the class and some things that they liked. And then it, and then someone just came out and said, there's, but there's one guy though that like I can't stand. I think his name's Nemo. Every time someone sneezes in class, he just like, yells out bless you and that was it that was the reason that was the reason i got underneath their skin that's the reason that that they couldn't stand me because i was taking the time to acknowledge someone anytime that they sneeze and for some reason for some reason this person it just didn't resonate with them at all uh i laughed a bit to myself in that moment when uh well actually Look, now I want to say I laugh about it, but like what happened first was that my heart, when I heard there's this one person I can't stand, I got intrigued. I leaned in. Then I heard, and I think his name is Nemo, and my heart like froze. You see, I am a recovering people pleaser. The way that you see me showing up now in life, it's not how I've always been. I've been someone who has struggled to fit in and chose a path of fitting out. But I've always, always had this like feel of, Okay, if if I'm not if I don't show up in a way that other people will accept me in, I'll be all alone. And so being a people pleaser allowed me to like navigate and have no opinions so that like I would never actually make anyone upset. Uh I would avoid all confrontation, so I would never really make anyone feel uncomfortable. Uh I then I only really showed a positive, upbeat side of me uh, so that people would, would feel positive and upbeat around me and would want to be around me as well. But that meant that I also didn't have any access to experience in a lot of other emotions and maybe kind of one dimensional uh, and more empty inside and gave me less access to, to actually uh, connect and, and be, be to experience empathy with others because I couldn't allow myself to experience those feelings at all. Um, the idea of not having any opinions and staying away from confrontation meant that I, that I wasn't someone that people can trust and rely on because when things weren't positive and upbeat uh, and they were the other side of things, they were, they were real in different ways. Uh, they couldn't rely on me. They couldn't count on me to actually be able to be in that conversation and hold that experience with them. And I say all these things here because my, in my attempt, well, there's a few different things, there's a couple of different uh, lessons I got from this here. Uh, the first one is in my attempt to be a people pleaser, uh, I was actually actively working against actually getting the end result, which I wanted, which is to be truly accepted. People had me around. I was very well known on, on campus, um, but I wasn't known well. I wasn't known well. The other side of things, and I think this is the the where I'll leave it off in this video because this is where what stemmed it off for me was the reason that that person couldn't stand me was because of something completely innocuous. I would have never guessed in like I would have never guessed that the reason that someone didn't like me was because I said "bless you" too loudly in the middle of class. That like, it's still really funny to me, but it, I, I remember this story and I share this story as a reminder that like some people aren't gonna like you no matter what you do. Some people like, some, like whether or not you're actively trying or not, like there's just gonna be some people where your good intentions aren't gonna resonate with them. And if that's the case here, like, so be it. I can't remember who the person was. I think I remember this, the, the where it happened, you know, but like, 
the, the, the bigger thing is that they gave me a lesson that I've been able to hold on to for my entire life, um, which is like for the people that you're not the right, the right person for, there's nothing you can do that will, <laughs> there, well, there's, yeah, it, it, they're not the place where you need to be spending your effort and energy. There are other people out there who are meant to hear your mis- your message, who are aligned with your mission, who see their own personal visions of themselves in the vision that you set forth. We want to make sure that, uh, that along the path, you are able to continue aligning yourself with those who are meant to hear from you at this time. I might meet that same exact person on a street or in a coffee or in a coaching conversation and that person might end up becoming a client or no same like like saying i've changed their lives or they've gone on and changed things for themselves who knows but at that time we weren't the right it wasn't the right time i see it when with the community i'm building some people uh become clients and they renew time and time again some people are clients one time and they complete some people are on the email list they'll they'll stay on and other people will go and unsubscribe like this is going to be part of our journey here and i want to make sure that we uh, that at the end of the day, we realize that do we hold the space for it to be that it for it not to mean more than than anything other than like that person decided to take a different path at that point. My invitation to you is to stay on focus, stay on point, keep creating, keep showing up. Don't change who you are, but instead allow even more of who you are so that more people who want to see you, people who love people who 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 say bless you really loudly, uh love me, <laughs> you know? So, uh, but, but there are people out there that are craving what it is that you offer as you offer it. So just, just keep that in mind uh, and, and keep, keep creating. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that here, wherever you are, uh, leave, leave a comment. Let's, let's engage in a conversation. Let's, I'll be curious for you. Where's, uh, where's, which one place or one area that you've been holding back because you're afraid of how people might judge you or a place where, uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. Where's one place you've been holding back because you're afraid of, uh, that people might judge you and let's, let's engage in a conversation. Tell my invitations in the next 24 hours to, to step into that just one 10% more fully. And what I mean by step into that is to uh, to take one action that uh, that gives people a chance to judge you in that area and then move forward to right. Come tell us about that experience for you uh, in the comments. Just, just let's let's engage in this conversation. All right. Awesome. Uh, wherever you are, my invitation, the other invitation for you is wherever you are today, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can make sure you can get additional uh, additional videos and conversation starters and beyond uh wherever we are because honestly we're we're continuing these conversations over time all right and if you want to get this in your email just go to niyama.com slash tribe that's n w i a m a h dot com slash tribe in order to get exclusive resources and other uh, invitations to uh, tribe only events and uh and different exper- experiences until then know this you got this and we got you journey on